In an earlier video, another circuit we made in Tinkercad software was with a DC motor. Let's make this circuit with real components. We have got a DC motor here. It is mounted on a wooden block, and the two terminals of the motor are connected with wires to two nails. We have attached a propeller to the motor so that we can see the rotation. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to one of the terminals of the motor. Connect the negative terminal of the battery to the other terminal of the motor. The motor starts to rotate. Notice that the way the positive and negative battery terminals are connected to the motor right now, the motor is rotating in a counterclockwise direction. If we change the polarity, that is, we flip the positive and negative terminals of the battery connected to the motor, the motor starts to turn in a clockwise direction. This is a very interesting property of a DC motor. Simply by changing the polarity, we can change the direction of rotation, clockwise or counterclockwise. Remember, our objective is to make a toy car. In this toy car, there are two DC motors. These motors are same as the DC motor you just saw. However, inside these motors, there is a gear assembly. These gears allow the motor to rotate with more force. That is why these motors are used in toy cars as they can carry the load of the body of the car, battery pack, and other components. Here is a question for you. With two motors attached, how can you make this toy car go forward and reverse? Pause and think. While you are thinking, let's hear a short but inspiring story. Hi, I am Michael Faraday. Way back in 1821, I created the ancestor of the DC motor you are using. I successfully produced mechanical motion using a permanent magnet and electric current. I also made many other very important discoveries. I was born in England, and I came from a very poor family. I received very little formal education, but I was very eager to learn. When I was 14 years old, I became an apprentice at a book binding shop in London. Here, not only did I bind books, I also read them. I got introduced to electricity by reading Encyclopedia Britannica. I believe, no matter what your circumstances, you must always learn. Coming back to our tutorial, did you figure out how to make our toy car go forward and reverse? We know that changing the polarity of a DC motor can make it turn clockwise or counterclockwise. We can use this property to make our toy car go forward and reverse. Here we have a DC motor with a wheel. Imagine that this motor is attached to our toy car. So we have two motors with wheels attached to our toy car. Let's connect the motor to the battery. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to one of the terminals of the motor. Connect the negative terminal of the battery to the other terminal of the motor. The wheel attached to the motor starts to turn. Imagine, if the motor is attached here, the car is going in reverse direction. Now, let's flip the polarity. The motor is now rotating in the other direction. If we attach this motor to our toy car, our car will now move forward. Let's review what we have learned. To make a toy car move forward and reverse, all we have to do is connect two hobby gear motors to a battery pack. Then, simply by switching the polarity of both the motors, we can make the toy car go forward and reverse. Here, we have got our toy car, with two geared DC motors and a battery pack. By the way, you don't need a chassis to make a toy car. You can also attach these motors to a piece of thick cardboard or wood, using hot glue. We have positive and negative wires coming from the battery pack. Then we have two wires from the first motor, one black and one red and two wires from the second motor. Again, one black and one red. To connect the motors to the battery pack, all you need to do is connect all the red wires. You can simply twist the wires together. Then you take all the black wires and twist these together. This will connect both the motors to the battery pack and they will run. However, we will connect the wires in a more elegant way. We will use a mini breadboard. In a breadboard, on the reverse side, you can see horizontal metallic strips. 
Each of these strips connects one line of holes on the front side. The middle part is called a gutter. On the other side of the gutter, you have got more holes, which are also interconnected with metallic strips. To make connections using a breadboard, take the negative wire from the battery and insert it into one of the holes. Now the remaining four holes in this line are all connected to the negative terminal. Take the black wire from one of the motors and insert it into one of these holes. Likewise, take the black wire from the second motor and connect it in the same line. Do the same for the positive terminal of the battery. Put the wire into a different line and connect the red wires from the two motors to the same line. Both the motors start rotating. This car will not go straight because one motor is rotating faster than the other. For the toy car to go straight, both motors must run at the same speed or same RPM, rotations per minute. Let's put our toy car on the floor and test it. Note the direction of the toy car. To make the toy car go in the other direction, all we have to do is change the polarity. Take out the red or the positive wire from the battery and put it where the black or the negative wire from the battery is connected on the breadboard. The black wires from the two motors are now connected to the positive battery terminal. Take the black or negative wire from the battery and put it where the positive wire was earlier connected. The polarity of both motors has been flipped. Let's test it. Notice that the battery pack is now facing the direction of motion. Earlier, it was facing the other direction. Hardiest congratulations! You have made a toy car that goes forward and reverse. Do you think we can use switches to flip the polarity of the two motors? Do you think we can make our toy car turn left and right simply by controlling the flow of electrons? We will look at these questions in the next video. See you soon!